How do you know the right amount to ask a new prospective donor? You don't want to ask too high, but you also don't want to ask too low. In this video, I'm going to show you a tactic that if you use it this year, will result in thousands of dollars in increased donations for your nonprofit. Hi, I'm Trevor Bragdon with Seven Figure Fundraising. Have you ever been in this situation where you have an upcoming meeting with a new prospect, but you don't know how much money to ask? On one hand, you don't want to ask too high and they say no immediately. On the other hand, you don't want to ask so low that they say yes right then and maybe they wanted to actually give a larger donation. What do you do? One of the things my brother and I teach in the Seven Figure Fundraising Workshop is the solution to this very problem and it's called the elevator close. And here's how it works. First, you need to have a compelling donor pitch. We have a video linked below that goes into how do you create a donor pitch. But once you have the pitch, when you go into the close, this is what's different. With the elevator close, you're going to tell them some information about how your nonprofit's funded and then ask them to join. And here's what the elevator close looks like. The elevator close says, our nonprofit is majority funded by a key group of 22 individuals and foundations who partner with us and give between $5,000 to more than $200,000 annually. But to accomplish these goals over the next year, we need to add four new donor partners. Will you be one of the four and join this group of key supporters that make our work possible? Here's what you're doing with the elevator close. First, with that first paragraph, our nonprofit is majority funded by a key group of 22 individuals and foundations. You're talking about safety. You're letting this prospective donor know that there's a lot of other donors who give to your nonprofit. The part about who give us between $5,000 to more than $200,000 annually is all about credibility you have people who are giving you very large donations because of the work you're doing in your execution of your mission. But to accomplish these goals, we need to add four new donor partners this year. What you're doing here is talking about urgency and you've laid out a big vision in your pitch and what you're gonna accomplish over the next year, but to do it, you need more donors to partner with you. And the last part is all about exclusivity. Will you, be one of the four and join this group that makes our work possible. I will say a couple of caveats to this is you want to make sure your numbers are completely true. You can vary that range, you can move it up, you can move it down and vary the range, but make sure that number of key donors is accurate. The other thing is if you know a donor maybe gives a $20,000 first donation or around that range, you can move up that bottom donation and say, our nonprofit's majority funded by 12 key individuals who give between $20,000 and more than $200,000 annually. But the key is making sure those numbers are accurate. So I'd encourage you, try this tactic at your next prospect meeting and let us know how the elevator close works for you. If you wanna learn more tactics like this, I'd encourage you to join our next seven figure fundraising workshop. It is jam packed with tactics just like this. It's taught by me and my brother, Taryn Bragdon, who's a CEO of a nonprofit. And we go through how to increase your major donors so you can have more time to focus on the mission of your nonprofit and help change the world.